Hi, I'm Steve Axtell. Welcome to another magical moment. I'm here today with Gary Hunter, ventriloquist. And Gary, tell us about your amazing career. Well, I've been doing ventriloquism since I was very, very young. I picked it up when I was 13. I got my first paying job at 16. Wow. Um, $16.25. Oh, my goodness. And I'm still looking for the person that only <laughs> put 25 cents in because it was a collection. Oh, it was a collection. That's great. <laughs> and uh, I actually uh, got my first professional figure in 1972. Uh, of course, like most kids, I started out with the little Juro, yep. you know, Danny O'Day uh, type puppet. And uh, what's great, of course, Jimmy Nelson's here at the convention I this know, year. This is and uh, I know. I, I had a personal moment with him the other day. Wow. I told him I had to uh, send him a check, a, a royalty check, because everything I own is due to him. <laughs> <laughs> and he did give me his address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> no, That's so great. anyway. Um, I'll explain. We're here at the Ventriloquist Convention 2011 where, where uh, Jimmy Nelson is being uh, tributed. That's right. He's being honored for 70 years of wow. uh, professional ventriloquism. Amazing. Anyway, so I got my first professional dummy, uh, a Clinton Detweiler figure. In 1972, my parents bought it for me, and I put myself through college mm. doing ventriloquism. 75, I went professional and uh, got very, very lucky early on wow. and um, uh, started performing on cruise ships. Cruise ships was your niche? Cruise you ships became my niche. I thought that I could go out to Hollywood and be a star, and yeah. I went out in, in the 70s, and I worked the comedy club and the improv and yeah. the ice house, and I was out there during the heyday of comedy. Mm. But I realized that really my thing was cruise ships, and, uh, and I've been on cruise ships now for 37 years. That's part of the magic of the success is finding a niche. Something that's, that's right, you. and staying with it, yeah. and staying with it. Staying with um, it. You know, some people find that comedy clubs are their thing. Mm -hmm. Some people find that performing in schools uh, you know, evangelical ventriloquism, mm -hmm. but my thing became cruise ships, and it's been wonderful because it's mm -hmm. taken me around the world to over 160 countries. Wow! And um, I, I, I'm I'm just truly, truly blessed. But then, you know, I was looking for some new characters, mm -hmm. and and I found you, and I think it was about 1982. I'm a character. All of us, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's true. But but you wouldn't let me put my hand where I needed to go. <laughs> You didn't want to go on the road with me. <laughs> That's right. That's so, right. Uh, so you actually had these wonderful, wonderful new types of puppets because most of us were either using a the wooden style dummy, mm -hmm. and the soft sculptured puppets had come along. Of course, um, you know, um, Verna Finley and Marianne Taylor. They did a fantastic job with mm -hmm. those. But I wanted, I wanted something else, different, a different look. And then you came up with these fantastic latex puppets, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm telling you why, it it changed my act. Wow. Um, in about 1972 because it gave me an alternative to my normal act Fantastic. and all of a sudden I had another act and eventually that act became my staple act wow. for a long long time wow. I only used and I'll tell you which character it was it was the dodo bird so those royalty tricks you were talking about <laughs> for Jimmy. <laughs> wow, incredible. It, it, it was, incredible. Uh, it was uh, and I, I'll tell you I don't want to get into details here about this but the act that I do with the dodo bird, and now the dodo bird, by the way, has graduated to the toucan. Okay. And, uh, and of course, I have the magic toucan, which is... Oh, the uh, animatronic that's version, right. yes. And, yeah. uh, and uh, that's going to be a, a big part of the mm. act as well. So uh, you're sort of, whatever you're doing out there in the studios, keep doing because you're changing the way ventriloquism wow. is performed and presented around the world. Fantastic. And you've got all these characters that young ventriloquists can just order offline but the other great thing is you make custom-made puppets yeah, for yeah, for do. people that are already out there working and are established and are looking for something a little bit different Pros that nobody like you else and has Terry had. Fader that's and, right yeah you know, the bigs um, the the thing that we're doing here is called the magic moment because mm -hmm. when you put a hand in a puppet for the first time and you discover <laughs> <laughs> you discover the uh, animation that comes from that. That's right. It's the simplest form of magic. And so that's our magic moment. So I'm going to grab a puppet oh. here, if you would. Oh. And, uh, oh. Let me, so you're putting me on the spot I'm here. Put you on the spot. Okay, this is our <laughs> possum puppet. And it's fairly simple and floppy. And it well, doesn't look like much, does well, it? Well, I'm from the South. Oh, well, so, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were from the cruise ships. Well, well I am. I'm, but I live in the South, and this possum puppet here, he'll be used to this. This is almost like roadkill. <laughs> come there, back. You, yes, it, that's it. Road, roadkill, <laughs> come back. So, hi. Uh, huh, hi, who are you? Uh, my name's Gary. Wow. And uh, this is Steve. Who? This is Steve. Do you know Steve? I don't know Steve. Well, you should. <laughs> Why? Well, because he's your creator. He's God? God looks like that? No, 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 no. 
<laughs> no, no, that's not God. That's uh, that, but that's the creator of um, of Axtell puppets, and you're one of the Axtell puppets. What's an Axtell puppet? Well, you see all your friends right here. Uh -huh, I've been hanging out with them. I know you've been <laughs> hanging out with them. They're nice guys. I know they're nice guys. But uh, but I'm thinking about taking you on the road with me. On the road? That's right. You're kidding me. No. And what will you do? Well, I do a ventriloquist act. A what? A ventriloquist act. A, 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 a ventriloquist act. A, a vin, vin, ventriloquist? No, no, no. A ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. No. Ventriloquist. 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 Oh. You're not saying it right. Oh, wow. I'll teach you how to do it. Right now? Right now. So I want you to repeat after me, okay? Okay. Here we go. Clear your throat. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Vin. Vin. Very good. Trill. Go ahead. Trill. O. Oh, quist, quist, ventriloquist, ventriloquist. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I tell you, with a little bit of practice, I think you can get this, and you might be able to go on the road with me. Actually, I don't really go on the road too, off too often. I go on cruise ships. Cruise ships? Uh, have you ever been on ship? No, no, I've never been on. A have you ever been outside the country? No. <laughs> you think you could do that? With you? Uh huh. You seem like a nice guy. Well, we'll have to get permission from Steve here, and maybe. Um, Maybe he'll let you go. You won't ask him? Okay. In a nice way, okay? Okay. Uh, Steve, yeah, do you yeah. think I could go on the uh, cruise ships with Gary? I'll have to check his uh, security records and make sure everything is okay. And uh, I think once, oh, hi, Gary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. You hear that? Are you going to take me on the road? I'm thinking about taking you on the road with me, and I think it would be a good match. <laughs> what would I do? Well, you would have to learn some jokes. Some jokes? Uh-huh. And, uh, and make people laugh. Think you could do that? I, I, I think I could. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to help you do that. So mm. what do you think? Shall we do it? Okay. I'm in. You're in? Oh, yeah. that's great. Thank you, Steve. Immediate, immediate characterization. It wasn't any much experimenting. It just happened. It was magical. And it doesn't always happen that way, does it? What's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this He's is, talking oh, about yeah. the life that you can bring to an inanimate object. To Steve? <laughs> <laughs> is he a puppet? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> wow, he must be animatronic. No, you can't even say <laughs> Well, he makes those kinds of puppets, but That's uh, wonderful. but listen, no, uh, Steve's a real person, and you're you're the uh, inanimate object. But through see through ventriloquism and uh, manipulation. Yeah. Uh, you can bring these things to life here Absolutely. and that's what it's really all about. It, it's about the life that you bring to the character and you know ventriloquism uh, uh, is not only lip control. Right. It's manipulation, yeah, absolutely. it's the character yeah. itself, it's the characterization, and then of course building a routine that suits that character mm -hmm. that can be presented you know, to your, your audience. You've done it all here today for wow. us. Thanks for coming, man. No. What do you for say? Sure. You want to say goodbye to all those people out there in uh, YouTube land? In a lot. In YouTube land. Okay. Bye. See you around. Come take a cruise. <laughs> Axtel.com. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>